Hey everyone, Zach here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be looking at this lacy drive, and look what's oh, it's designed by Porsche. <laughs> so we're going to see what's going on with it. Um, it's obviously in here for data recovery. So I'm going to plug this in. I have it has its own separate um, power supply, as well as uh, another type of USB connection. It's much older. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get here. It looks like there's an AC light on there, which is good. Let's just plug it in, see what we get. So, is there a button? Oh, there's a power button in the back. So press that. See that orange light did come up, popped up here. I don't know if I hear anything or see anything. The drive does not f appear to be on though. can't really feel anything. I mean, obviously it's in this chassis, but nothing pops up. Um, let's go ahead and check the screen capture. Let's see, it's loading, so hopefully something is trying to be recognized. Okay, so I have my basic drives. Nothing's actually detected here whatsoever. And I don't feel the drive on, so probably the best thing to do would just be open up. Let's take a look at that. Um, let's see what this type of drive is in here. Um, usually Lacey doesn't manufacture drives, usually it's someone else, right? It, this is most likely gonna be a three and a half inch drive, maybe by like Seagate Western Digital, possibly Toshiba, depends on how old it is, or HGST, or who knows. But let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it. Let's pop it open, take a look. Drives are usually in enclosures. Let's see, is there any screws here? I don't really see any screws. Man, no screws at all. On the bottom, rubber, nothing. Hmm. Let's see if we can pop this up. Let's get a little bit of a pry tool here. Let's just pop it up. See a big circuit board? And we have these drives. Um, they're usually, again, three and a half inch drives, especially if they're thicker, like this, or like the Pro models or something. And then they're connected to something else. Well, it looks like we have a SATA board here. That's the main PCB. We have a three and a half inch drive. And the, man, they even have a SATA cable, like a, a typical desktop SATA cable. And then we do have our um, PCI peripheral um, SATA power cable, right? So let's go ahead and actually shouldn't remove that first. I could probably just unscrew it to make it easier. This is what's holding in the drive. Now these drives, they're nothing really special compared to other drives. They're held in here very securely because they're external drives like the portable ones and they need to be held in there um, better. So let's just unscrew a few screws here. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to lift this up. Okay, so I don't see anything else. Does this even come up? Okay, so we can lift this up this way. It was held in this way. Never opened this before, so we're just going as we go, right? Okay, so just pop this up. And here we have, we want to get, eliminate this, and we have, uh, looks like, oh, Seagate. So we have a Seagate 500 gig uh, drive here. And now this, you have to think always when you have one of these, right, you have these have power inputs here. And this is uh, a board that has a lot of stuff, right? We have power and we have a data line for both of them here. So we always want to eliminate that because there could be failures here. Look at that. There's a power supply here. There's controllers here. There's lots of different things. You got... You got capacitors, um, especially this is old school, old style. So we're surprised they made it this long, but we want to eliminate that um, because we don't care about this. This doesn't really matter, right? Getting the data is what always matters, especially for data recovery. So we want to see if there's any obvious damage, anything else here. It looks to be pretty clean for the most part. So now we want to see if the symptoms change if we plug this in. So let's plug this in over here. We don't have to worry about our old cables either. We have a sled here. It's a three and a half inch sled. Right, and now we want to see if the drive is going to spin, if it's going to turn on, if we get anything there. We see a light on the back, so let's turn this off first, and then we'll plug it in. So it's spinning. You can probably hear, I'm putting my microphone right next to it. We heard the windows chime there, but it does feel like that the disc is spinning.
So we heard the windows noise there, um, and that's chime usually means something recognized, right? But there's nothing really in File Explorer. It's a little bit slow anyway, so maybe it's starting to get up something, and then, nope, doesn't want to do it, or it's still putting pressure on the drive itself, right? And we see disk management, we don't really see anything else. So it's kind of like the same story. We're still not able to see anything, even though we heard the chime. Now, these are, a lot, in a lot of cases, too, when you hear a chime, right, it's a good thing, at least it's something recognizing, or that could just be the... <laughs> the USB itself just being plugged in, being recognized because there's power output, right? It could be something like that. Um, but we didn't turn it on, so we did just, we connected the drive and it did pop up, but there was uh, still the disk sound like it was spinning. So this isn't gonna be good enough really to get the data or really see the drive whatsoever. Cause that's, that's a little bit strange that I wouldn't see the drive. So we're gonna have to take it over to more of our data recovery tools to, have to see what's actually going on there. So let's go over there and see what we can do with the drive. So we're going through our data recovery tools. And we see that the drive looks to be pretty good so far, for at least for the most part. We're able to read it pretty well. We're even able to make a head map, and we actually see the sectors, and we go ahead and check them out. So we do a little bit more work for it, and we are able to at least have an image of it. And the image is going to take a lot of the pressure that's off of the drive itself, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just make an image copy of it, and we can actually see the data now. So it looks to be good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy watching this uh, Lacey hard drive data recovery that we have in here. You can see that uh, it is an external drive and inside there is a Seagate drive and we have to do not only just obviously a very easy simple removal for it but then it also gave us a problem as well. Usually if there is a problem inside the casing or inside the type of drive there there could be a short because the enclosure does have the little PCB that can actually show out. You can see there's a power and a, a data line there. Um, you saw it's a full size like SATA connection that was on it was like, just like a regular desktop as well as a PCIe for SATA as well there too. Maybe there was a problem with the inside PCB itself there. We have videos actually just showing that because that's really basic, but most of the time when you have any type of issue here, there's a short, something else going on, uh, especially we don't know what really the customer did if they tried to keep plugging in over and over again and then they short out the drive because the drive's still connected to it, right? So um, you always want to do that. If you have any type of power issues, definitely want to make sure you don't keep trying to use the same type of device over and over again because it can lead to a short and it can possibly damage the PCB there. Who knows if we have to do like a full PCB replacement or anything or like move our BIOS chip and locate donors and stuff like that. That's definitely um, another case that we also do as well. Um, but we were lucky enough we wanted to do that, but we did have to use our data recovery tools that we usually do head replacements for to extract data. After we do head replacements, we had to use that tool to help extract the data. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.